Last Monday was a scary morning for the drunken millers who awoke to an attack on their family's goats at their home in Belgrade. MTN's Caitlin Corbett spoke with the family who tells us how they're recovering. We must warn you some of the material you're about to see may be graphic. Laying in bed sleeping and I heard screams, uh, screams of the goats and at first it didn't register but then I knew what it was. It was the screams of Drucken Miller's four baby goats as they were brutally attacked by a neighbor's two hybrid wolf dogs in the early morning hours. We first came out to the pen and saw that there was something in the pen harming the goats. It was just incredulous to me. I never, ever, with this kind of setup, I never expected that that would happen. The Drucken Millers felt they had done everything in their power to keep their goats safe, including building this five foot tall twisted wire fence to keep predators out. But it still wasn't enough. That's where they entered was a gate over here. They peeled back the wire off the wood, pulled the staples out, and then uh, chased, the, chased the goats around. Uh, the goats were you know, really badly shook up. They were badly bitten. Um, I tried to get them out of here so that they would not cause any more damage. Drucken Miller tied the two dogs up near his garage and waited for their owners to arrive along with the authorities. Three of the goats underwent surgery and are now recovering, but little itty bitty, the family's lone Nubian goat, wasn't so lucky. It's, been, it's played a, a really heavy toll on us as a family. Um, we don't even know how to tell my grandson that his goat died last night. He's only three years old. Kids don't understand that. The case is now in the hands of the Department of Livestock, determining if there are grounds for euthanization of the two dogs. The Drucken Millers have since added extra layers of protection, including another gate, a stopper to the main gate, and a pistol. Yeah, but despite these extra precautions, the fear still lingers. They're not livestock. <laughs> They're pets. <laughs> They're just part of us now. <laughs> I just don't want to live in fear of this ever happening again because it was so traumatizing for them and for us and continues to be. In Belgrade, Caitlin Corbett, MTN News. The Drucken Millers estimate they've paid close to $4,000 in vet bills for their goats and plan on seeking restitution. The Department of Livestock is still investigating the incident, which may take up to another week before possibly heading to court.